and welcome back to my channel. I am here to bring you my April favorites. Now, gosh, I know it's probably the second or third day of May by now, but I still wanted to get this in, so let's jump in. So my first favorite for April is actually kind of a bunch of favorites, and that is Cream Blush. I've been using three in particular lately, so I wanted to share those with you guys. The first being the Revlon Photo Ready Cream Blush in 200 Flushed. Now this is a bright fuchsia, and it kind of looks scary if you're in the store and you kind of see it from afar. But with the stippling brush that you will see in a second, they go on very sheerly and the color is still pink but not as crazy as it is in the container. For the second cream blush I've been really loving, this one actually comes from Flower Beauty. And that's the Drew Barrymore line that's actually sold at Walmart. And this is their cream blush in Winsome Rouge, which is super, super clever. Now this is the lightest of the three I'm going to show you guys, and it's kind of a more corally pink. I really like this though, and the formulation is really great for a drugstore cream blush. And my third cream blush is actually one of the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blushes. And this is in 10 Pink Frosting. Now I was late to the bandwagon on this one. This is actually my first one I picked up just a few weeks ago. And I'm really, really liking it. The size of the container is actually perfect to get a small stippling brush in there. And that's what I use to apply these, so that's perfect. Now I know I'm talking about a stippling brush a lot and I'm going to show you guys my second favorite of the month and that is the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. Now as I was saying I use this to apply the cream blushes I just showed you a second ago and it's really really great. The brush is so soft and you can't beat it for $3. So for those of you who don't know what a stippling brush is, it's actually a brush that's very loosely packed with bristles. Now when you dip it into a product, you're not going to get a whole lot on the brush and that's why these are so perfect for those bright cream blushes. I found mine at Kmart, but you can also find some brushes at Target. They're kind of hit or miss, so if you can't find it in a store near you, check on eyeslipsface.com. Now, my third favorite for this month of April has been this Anastasia Brow Wiz, and my shade is Brunette. When I bought this, I actually bought the shade lighter than this, and I forget what it's called, but it just didn't do it for me once I got it home, and I went back and exchanged it and got the next darker shade. I'm in love with this because the tip is so small. It's a kind of waxy pencil, but it's nothing that gets out of control, and on the other side is a spoolie, so that's awesome for travel because the both are combined, and you only have to worry about taking one product with you. So my fourth favorite is actually a hair product, or tool maybe, <laughs> depending on what you want to call it. And it is this Con Air small tiny baby straightener. Now I've had this since last Christmas, not this past Christmas, but last Christmas. And my boyfriend actually got it for me as a gift. I saw it at Toys R Us and thought it was like the cutest thing in the entire world. So I told him I wanted it and lo and behold I opened it on Christmas morning. I actually, when I got it, thought it'd be something I'd never use and I'd just keep in the box. But once I didn't have my Chi straightener with me one day, I kind of just ripped this open and started using it. I've been hooked ever since. It is perfect for fine, thin hair and that is exactly what I have. My hair is naturally curly and the front kind of gets a little crazy sometimes. So all I do is I use this small straightener to go around my face and kind of smooth out and straighten those layers. This helps my hair lay a lot better whether I'm pulling it back, up into a ponytail, a bun, or even like I did today. The one thing I love about this straightener is that it only has one setting. Now, don't get me wrong, it gets hot enough to straighten my hair, but I don't feel like it gets overly hot to where I have to worry about a lot of damage. It's very simple to use because all you have to do is turn it on and it only takes a few seconds to heat up. My fifth favorite for this beautiful month is my Coors Lip Butter and Wild Rose. I kind of impulsively bought this at a Sephora, gosh, probably five or six months ago, and I'm so glad I did. I keep it in my purse and use it throughout the day just to add a little color to my face. It's not so much as a rosy color as it is a berry, but I love the feel. It is very moisturizing, which I love as well, because I know some products say they do that, but they don't. But this one really makes my lips feel better and adds a beautiful color to them. It is a color that goes with any look so I don't have to worry about always bringing the lip color I'm wearing that day with me because I know I can just count on this. The texture of this is really, really nice. It's very, very smooth and you can tell that it's moisturizing just by the way it feels. It glides on and I easily just put it on with my finger. One downfall to this product is actually it's packaging. If you're not careful it can get really messy but all you have to do is make sure that you kind of wipe around it before you put it back in your purse. The lid stays on really well, so that's not an issue, but like I said, it can get kind of messy. And so for my sixth 
favorite I have to include in my camera, and that is the Canon EOS Rebel T3i. I mentioned it in my previous video, but this camera is doing everything I need it to. Focusing is easy, the quality of the videos is beautiful, as well as the pictures that I include over my blog. I just have it on my vanity right in front of me on a little tripod, and it does great. So for my little bonus favorite of the month, it's actually a recipe. Now I'm a huge baker and I've kind of got Jerome into it lately too, and he was wanting me to make some chocolate chip cookies. I was at the store and I didn't have a recipe right in front of me, so he sent me one on my phone, and this turned out to be the best chocolate chip recipe that I had ever tried. The cookies are great, and it's actually kind of an odd recipe because it includes vanilla pudding mix, and we've actually tried it with chocolate also, and they're both outstanding. I have one to show you right now and I can't wait to eat it. It just looks so yummy. What I'm showing you here is actually with the chocolate and it's like the perfect double chocolate fudge cookie. I tend to have the problem of my cookies sinking as soon as I take them out of the oven, but these didn't have that problem at all. The batter is pretty thick though and we had to add a few drops of milk, but other than that the recipe worked flawlessly. So that wraps up this month's favorites, and like I said earlier, it was a great month. I turned 21, and I can't wait to see what next month has in store. So if you guys would, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss next month's favorites. As always, head on over to Lovelacy Beauty because I'll have a supplemental kind of post to these videos, as well as more still pictures and prices for you guys. I love you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! The month is actually a... <laughs> was that wrong? This Anastasia, Anastasia, I think. Whoa! Ow. No, baby, did you hear me? I messed up. So my the door's not closed. The door's not closed. Okay. Favorite of the month is my Canon. There's a fuzz in front of my face. <sighs> includes cuss. Includes yellow pudding mix, vanilla, not yellow. Yum. I wish you could have chocolate kitty. You know? You'd like these. A thumbs up and go subscribe.